Hello, Brian Knowlton back with another super cool slide reel tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn how to test a heat sequencer. First, we will set our tester to ohms resistance as seen here. Test the coil. We are looking for any reading above OL. Next, set our meter to continuity. Test the contacts to see that there is no continuity across any of the terminals. If you hear a beep or continuity is indicated on your tester, replace the heat sequencer. Next, apply low voltage to the coil here. Ensure that the low voltage supplied matches the requirement of the heat sequencer. In this example, as we can see, 24 volts AC is a low voltage requirement. A heat sequencer times the operation of each set of contacts. So allow two to three minutes before testing for continuity to give each contact time to close. In this example, the test should be performed with the test leads applied to each side. So we are testing four different sets of contacts. Here, 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 and here. If there is no continuity across any of these terminals, the heat sequencer should be replaced. If one listens closely, the closing of contacts can usually be heard. The voltage supplied to these contacts doesn't matter, but the maximum is 240 volts. In this picture, we show a heat sequencer with four sets of contacts. This one can supply four separate heating elements. This other sequencer can only supply one heating element. This concludes our tutorial, but please stay tuned while we show you a great money saving device, the super cool slide rule. This tool saves you countless hours by giving you all the information you need right at your fingertips and saving you time saves you money. Thanks for watching. Hello, I'd like to take a minute to introduce you to the coolest tool in the HVAC industry. Historically, technicians have carried four or five different slide rules. You have one for R22, one for R410A, one for metal duct sizing, one for flexible duct sizing, and yet others for diagnostics or troubleshooting. Thankfully, those days are gone. This one tool will allow you to charge a system with R22 or R410A and either the superheater subcooling method. The back cover contains required formulas. It has capacitors, rules, and practices, a wet bulb conversion chart, how to perform computations on series or parallel circuits, an electric heat strip guide, a complete system troubleshooting diagnostic chart, and how to troubleshoot compressors in TXV. Inside is packed with even more information. It performs sizing of both metal and flexible duct. It has the only direct reading conversion from smooth metal to insulation line metal we've ever seen. The majority of technicians have never been taught that if the insulation is on the inside of the ductwork, you cannot size it with a regular duct calculator. It has step-by-step -step directions for determining airflow through a gas furnace, electric furnace, or an air conditioning unit. It has pressure drop multipliers for duct work, as well as recommended velocities. And finally, the scanning of this QR code gives instant access to over 100 tutorials to assist the technician with every test and repair imaginable. You owe it to yourself, as well as your customers, to own this tool. It's less than $20, including shipping. The SuperCool will save you countless hours of frustration when troubleshooting units. Log on to our website and get one today, and I promise you will be a better technician tomorrow. And remember, every technician is only as good as their tools. Thanks for watching.